Again tonight with more details on the arrest of an East Alabama man in Columbus in connection to a murder back in December. The man found unresponsive in a ditch in Valley, Alabama, along with another victim who survived after being stabbed. Neighbors who live near where the victim was found are believed a relief tonight. That is that an arrest has been made. Our Gabriella Johnson has more on the suspect captured in Columbus nearly half a year after the murder. The arrest of 59 year old Lindsay Felix Mahan happening across state lines in Columbus. There is a warrant out for his arrest through the Valley Police Department for the murder of Dalton Stringfellow. And last Friday, the Columbus Police Department making that huge arrest. We was we was really in awe behind it because nothing like that really occurs over in this area. Um, it's a pretty quiet neighborhood. Melinda Joseph lives off of County Road 196 in Valley, Alabama, the same road where 23 year old Dalton Stringfellow was found dead in a ditch around midnight on December 4th of 2022. Joseph did not see the incident happen, but says it's not easy to forget the night. Simply because over in this area, we don't have a lot of um, activity with police officers and EMS. So pretty much I do remember a while back EMS and uh, police officers coming down this down this road. The night of Stringfellow's death, police responded to the area after shots being fired. When they arrived, Stringfellow was dead and another man injured from being cut by an unidentified weapon. It's kind of disturbing to know that out of all the neighborhoods that they would, you know, come over to this area. Um, to do something like that. Nearly five months later, the Valley Police Department developing 59 year old Lindsay Felix Mayhand as a suspect on Stringfellow's murder and issuing out a warrant for his arrest. With officials having speculations that Mayhand could be in Columbus, the Columbus Police Department becoming involved with the search. Columbus Police located and arrested Mayhand April 26. Two days later, Mayhand was extradited to Chambers County. That's great news to know that um, whomever committed a crime has been, you know, been captured. Mayhand is currently at the Chambers County Detention Facility awaiting for a bond hearing. This case is still under investigation and anyone with any information is encouraged to call the Valley Police Department. The number is 334-756-5200. In Chambers County, Gabriella Johnson for WTVM News Leader 9.